Hey, good morning and happy Friday, the 8th of September. Uh, just, it was fun watching the Patriots get beat last night just because, you know, it's not the fact that um, you know, losing in the Super Bowl to the Patriots was hurtful enough, but it's just the fact that there's been so much success um, by the Patriots over the years. It's, it's nice to see, you know, teams go through a transitional phase, and I don't know if they are or not, but... Patriots definitely seem like, you know, they're hurting defensively this year uh, in ways that they haven't been in the past. So, um, you know, they'll have to readjust and learn. But <clears throat> for the for the sake of just NFL football, it's nice to see a team go in the, into Foxborough and put up 42 points and 570-something total yards of total offense, which was – no one saw that coming. Um but looking forward to Husky football. You know, I have, uh, we have season tickets. First game is tomorrow, or home game is tomorrow against the Montana Grizz. Uh, I lived in Montana for a year. I know how big football is in the state of Montana. And the Grizz are a big deal out there. So, and it's, <clears throat> a lot of teams, college teams play these, uh, these games against, uh, you know, easy to handle uh, opponents, uh, but they do that for, you know, the sake of just getting everything flowing for their team, and then on the, on the other side, those teams that uh, play these massively popular and very powerful teams, it gives them a chance to come and play against a better opponent, um, helps them find out, you know, and ways in which to improve, and, and it also provides them a, a large amount of money to play those teams and so they get a lot of money for their programs so this is nothing but a good thing for Montana um, especially if they put up a fight I'm not sure I think the guys on 710 a.m. on ESPN radio in the morning said that the the, the spread for this game is like 45 points um, you know I uh, being my first game of the year I'm not sure if I want to see a blowout like that but you know the Huskies need to prove and show that they are a force to be reckoned with. And if they're not putting up, you know, a lot of points against the Montana team, then, you know, they need to really evaluate themselves. Uh, this would be a team that uh, they should put up a lot of points. They should dominate on defense and that they should have their backup quarterback, Carter Samuels, in, um, I think, in the third quarter. So, so I think that the Huskies are going to handle the – uh, take care of Montana, but at the same time, it's uh, I think it's a good thing for the Montana Grizz program. They you know they, they get to come over here, get some a little bit of exposure, get to test a, a big team, a major team, uh, top ten, and to uh, you know because it's like you could play or run against people that are slower than you and win every single time, but it's nice to run against people that are faster than you because. You may not win, but your time will increase. Your time will get better or decrease. It should become better. So playing people that are better than you and practicing against people that are better than you, it will make you better. So this is a good thing for the Montana program. Um, so season tickets this year, excited for the Huskies to play. Um, you know, I went to two games last year. I went to USC and I went to the Alabama game and Georgia. And you know, those are the only two losses they had all year, and I happened to be at both of them. So I just... You know, I, I hope that, you know, they play very well tomorrow uh, and that I find out that I'm not, a, I don't jinx them in a way. So go dogs. Let's take care of business. Let's do this. Um, get the playoffs in sight. And we're behind you, Coach Pete. Um, was kind of looking at how things have been progressing with the forest fires. And it's, you know, it has been cooler uh, Weather-wise, you know, the humidity is still in the upper 90s, um, which makes it extremely warm. You guys know if you guys have humidity, you know how it is. We're not really used to it, but it's just it's just very sad to see. You know, one of the things that I really love about this state is the fact that it's green and it's burning down, and it's just very sad, you know, and I just hope that you know, it rains like people think, hey, in Seattle, it always rains. Washington, it always rains. Well, not really. It hasn't rained in like, I don't even know, 60, 75 days or something like that, a significant amount. We need it. To, 
you know, a lot of rain to take care of this. Um, it is in the forecast finally for, I think they said tonight and even tomorrow. Uh, you know, at the, the game tomorrow, I'll be fine if it rains at the Husky game, that's fine. But we need rain. We need to take care of these forests. We need these fires to be put out. And we need to start rebuilding and finding ways to, I don't know if you can really find ways to, to take care of and preserve trees and forests in a way that, you know, can combat a very warm and dry summer. I don't know if that, if there's a way to do that, but you know, it's, it's, uh, it's definitely been a sad and depressing summer for a lot of outdoorsmen and hikers and campers and all that, uh, specifically because of the fact that it's just been so dry, um, after a very cold and, uh, we got a lot of snow that last winter. And so, you know, it was nice to get a lot of snow and extra water, you know, uh, and have that melt off and then, you know, feed the rivers and everything like that. So the water level should have been a little bit higher, but it's just been so hot and dry that, you know, it's leading to forest fires and it's very sad to see. And it's just, it's, it's unfortunate because right now I should be able to see Mount Rainier in its full beautiful glory that it is. Every single morning I see that and I'm grateful to see it and I can't see it. It's just, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a cool morning haze mixed with smoke. And I actually need to wash my car tonight because they say that with, with tree ember, uh, uh, tree ash from burning trees mixed with water makes lie. I'm not sure if that's, it was on, you know, it was in the news. So I, it, I think it has to be a little somewhat true, but um, take my car through a car wash and wash all that off. So when it rains, the rain doesn't turn it into lye and it melts my paint or uh, damages the exterior of the car overnight when it rains. So need to wash the cars tonight, everybody. Uh, as for the weekend, Huskies, Saturday, we'll be tailgating up in Seattle. Um, and of that, that should be fun. And Seahawks play Packers in Lambeau Field on Sunday. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting football season started. It's unfortunate the way that the baseball season played out. It's not over, but it's just been such a, I don't know, it's just been a demoralizing season for the Mariners. Uh, injury after injury, people not playing up to the potential. I'm disappointed in Kyle Seeger, to be honest with you. He needs to, you know, when, when, when teams put a shift on, if they shift, it's because they know you can't do a certain thing. And as a hitter and a major league baseball player, I know that I'm good at something, pulling the ball, but at the same time, I want to be able to you know, add to my, my repertoire and my resume by learning how to hit the opposite field. You know, so you have to kind of retrain yourself as a hitter. And if people are shifting for you because it works, you need to learn how to beat the defense. And that means not just hitting the ball to the, the defense when they shift, you need to find ways to hit to the opposite field. And so becoming a great hitter, you learn how to do that. And Kyle Seeger has been, you know, not playing to his potential this year. And I just hope that his pitching woes are corrected by next season. I just think that the bar is going to be even higher for him next year. So anyway, I hope you guys I didn't have a video yesterday because I uh, stayed home from work because uh, my daughter's daycare was closed due to it being the first day of school for their kids. So, um, that's why there wasn't a video yesterday, but today, uh, back to it, and you know, it'll be the weekend, so you guys have a great weekend, I'll see you on Monday, go dogs, go hawks, football season is back, see you Monday.